What's going on guys? My name is Wall and welcome to PLC85. So for everything new with gaming and funny reaction videos, as always, subscribe. For our two new subscribers for today, welcome to the PLC85 community. We're going to be reacting to Honest Trailer National Treasure by Screen Junkies. What if trailers were actually honest, guys? Like, they just tell you the truth about the trailer. They tell you the truth about the movie in the trailer. Trailer. Well, honest trailers have a comedic way of doing that. Guys, no more talking. Let's get into the video. If you love historical mysteries, but wish they weren't so European, switch the settings to easy mode for a scavenger hunt that anyone could figure out, even kids and Americans. <laughs> National treasure. When the Declaration of Independence is in danger. Someone's gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. One group will steal the Declaration of Independence. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. So that no one else can steal the Declaration of Independence. I'm not gonna let you steal the Declaration of Independence. Then use it to re-steal a bunch of treasure that America already stole. E pluribus unum That's American for finders keepers. <laughs> Meet Benjamin Franklin Gates, the least subtle name for the most subtle Nick Cage character, who's basically Ross Geller if he were a professional America knower, but who solves puzzles like he's the world's greatest detective, Adam West's Batman. Oh. A legend, the key, <laughs> or something. Like a map. So Maps sick. have legends, maps have keys. How do you make a dishonest <laughs> shortcake? Library, clearly a corrupted version of the word library. The map said here at the wall, spelled with two E's. Wall Street follows the path of an actual wall that the original Dutch settlers built as a defense. The main gate was located at a street called De Heer, also two E's. When is the time of a clock like the whistle of a train? When it's two, two to two. Hang on, this movie is about the Freemasons, uh, and this movie was produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, who also made The Rock, where Sean Connery plays John Mason. Connery, <laughs> Connery, ornery, ornery con, lying old people, <laughs> and what old person lied, General Hummel, who is played by Ed Harris, Con Harris, Con Air, which is also produced by Bruckheimer, and starred Nicolas Cage, and the villain was Cyrus the Virus, Coronavirus, a con in the air, wake up sheeple! But to pull off the heist of the Bicentennial, this walking pub trivia night is gonna need a kick-ass crew. So he's bringing along this one nerd. He knows everything. I'm tracking you through the GPS in Shaw's phone. Daylight savings wasn't established until World War I. How could this shit wind up way out here? It could be that the hydrothermic properties of this region produce hurricane force ice storms. Until it's funny for him to not know anything. It's an Ottendorf cipher. Oh, okay. What's an Ottendorf cipher? Do you know what the preservation room is for? Delicious so jams and jellies. So what do we do with them? We look through it. Together, they'll rope one more person into their scheme. A w -w 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 woman? Oh, very cute man. Who spends the entire movie being told to shut up. Now, can you please stop shouting? Give me that! You're still shouting. Quiet, please. Now, shush. She really can't shut her mouth, can she? Shut up, please. She's the one calling all the shots now. She won't shut up until she rewards our hero's patriotic tomb raiding with a map to her vagina. Where does it lead to? You'll figure it out. Aw, the real national treasure was inside her all along. Strap in for an action-packed mandatory high school field trip as the movie gives our nation's substitute teachers enough Ben Franklin facts to excuse at least five smoke breaks. Do you actually know who the first person to suggest daylight savings was? Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. And fills in the rest of the runtime with generic shootouts and explosions until the day is saved thanks to skills you learn from your real history teacher. Video games. <laughs> So enjoy a movie they, they that blows loads for America, Bruckheimer style, that'll take you back to simpler times where our only adversaries were blonde oh, Eurobunks trying to steal our coin collections, and the secret cabal who robbed other cultures, ran the country in secret, and hold the highest positions in law enforcement, was like a super cool good thing that any kid would be happy to join. Do you so swear? I so swear. Oh, I want to be in the deep state. Starring Indy Alex Jones. The Da Vinci Chode, Dr. Girlfriend, 
Surprise, mother One does not simply walk into the National Archives. The Wolf. Historians being reckless with priceless artifacts. Don't quit, don't break it. Ah! I found the Charlotte. You mean she was a ship? Yeah, she was beautiful. Sassy black glaring. We take visa. Doesn't look like an end. Do you want something? Shut up. <laughs> and the only time Nick Cage gets to Nick Cage. No, there are no more clues. That's it, okay? It's over. Red, white, and blue's clues. <laughs> Red, white, and blue's clues. Really? How do a bunch of guys with hand tools build all this? Same way they built the pyramids. The Great Wall of China. Slaves? I'm the holiday armadillo! Here's my body, fit and pure. Now, you're black and You know what, I really do like movies like that. I just want to start off saying like that. Any movies that has a lot of puzzles, a lot of mystery, depending on how accurate it is, it doesn't really matter. But movies like that, it's always a treat for me to watch. I think, honestly speaking, that The National Treasure, it wasn't a bad movie. It kind of got repetitive after a while, but when they start making it even more. But I actually enjoyed watching it with my little sisters. Of course, there's certain things that is definitely outdated, that if you were to replay it now, a lot of people would be offended by, but life. Anyway guys, that was the video. I'm not gonna babble on about this. Did you enjoy it? Do you want me to continue doing more Screen Junkies trailers? I actually enjoyed doing this one. My name is Will, and don't forget guys, where there's a will, there's a way. Stay golden, my friends.